Right. Let's go for a second cart here. Let's focus in. It's another one in bends. Um, I might actually do a video later on where I get all the impact cards out that I've got because I've just realised that I've got about nine of my own to fix as well. So what I might do with these is I might start mixing and matching them. I might just pick the best ones. Uh, ben sent me six cards. As you can see, they're in various states of disrepair. I mean, you can see how bad the battery damage is to this one. All that there is meant to be copper. There's meant to be a copper trace going across here. There's meant to be a trace there. Uh, meant to be a trace on the other side. There. So I already know what's wrong with this one. Um, it's the same as the last one. No power to U4 here. 616. Chip itself is okay. Chip itself is actually very good condition considering what it's been exposed to. I mean, if the battery has done that then it's been leaking for a while now i'm not going to take this socket off this one i really don't want to disturb the cpu in this socket and i'll tell you why um i sanded the traces down going up towards the socket and they're not corroded Let's see if this will focus in yeah you see they're not corroded going towards the socket so i'm confident we're a okay under that socket. Um, I know there's some traces missing here. I think particularly this one here is gone. That, that's FC0, I think off the top of my head. I've actually got a nice wee handy. I've printed out my pin out the right way now, so up now, so that when it's sitting in the board that way up, it's a lot quicker to refer to because the pins here are going the same direction as my table there which is handy uh, I can scan that in and pop it up in one of the forums if anybody wants it so yeah back to this um, plan for this is continue cleaning this up will remake as many of these traces as I can. I mean, I'm going to have to put a big wire link here and I'll need to join something there and there and then in the back I need to join... Where is it again? Yeah, I need to add some material here, probably another wire link or some strands of copper or a couple of resistor legs or a bit of braid or something soldered hard in. To remake that connection and I'm confident that you know, I'm reasonably confident that this board might actually be working maybe a couple of dry joints on the edge there the card edge but yeah we need to remake we need to get on with some trace repair and see how we get on then I'll report back Ay ay ay. Two for two. Well, let's focus in here. I don't know if you can see it. But I've had to put a lot of heavy diode legs and a resistor leg, etc. And a wire link. They are to rebuild the pathways that had been eaten by the battery. Very weird that it turned out that only the ground plane had been eaten by the battery. Nothing else. It did a tremendous amount of damage to the ground plane. I've never seen one that bad. If I can get to the back of it here. You know, it has some hardware done there as well. That trace looks a bit ugly, but it's okay. Still got a wee bit of corrosion if it fell off, but it'll be cleaned up. So that's the second one of Ben's cars running, and... I can see it flashing away. I'll test it and make casino crazy in a while. But ugh, I'm gonna have a sit there and a break after that one. As I said, 
you see, as you see further in the video, you can see it a lot clearer there. Well, the natural light's gone through. You can see how much copper was absolutely destroyed by the alkaline of that battery. And a lot of the ground plane down this side was gone as well. I've patched that up the best I can by turning it with solder. It looks a little bit ugly. Camera got what's got out of focus now. It looks a bit ugly, but it works. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, that's been running for an hour now. So, yeah, it'll get tested in the machine and we will see. Okay. Maybe if I get the inclination to do it, there'll be a third card later on. Maybe it'll be something completely different. I don't know, but yeah, bye for now.